You could spend hours in here and not see everything. Here is the Glass Museum in Dunkirk, the self-proclaimed glass capital of Indiana. Well, Dunkirk was here because of the natural gas that uh, was in the ground. And at one time we had 12 glass factories here in town. When the gas ran out, which was probably in the 1920s sometime, a lot of the smaller factories left and we ended up with two. Uh, one was the Indiana Glass Factory and the other was the Hart Glass Factory at the time. Hart, which got its start making bottles, changed hands several times and is now part of the Ardaw Group. They're still making bottles, lots of bottles. The Amber Furnace makes nothing but 12 ounce beer bottles for Budweiser. Uh, they make approximately two and a half million a day. The Indiana Glass Company, which closed its doors in 2004, was known for tableware. Indiana Glass probably has 50% of what's in here, but uh, being that Indiana Glass was in existence for over 100 years, uh, they made a lot of glass and a lot of different items. The Glass Museum began decades ago with Kenny Webster, a local insurance salesman with a small glass collection. Over time, that small collection grew and eventually a permanent home was built in the 1980s. Well, I can't tell you exactly how much space we have. It's large. It's the largest glass museum in the state of Indiana, and it's uh, probably the largest one in the tri-state area. We have over 20,000 pieces of glass on display, and we probably have another 10,000 uh, in storage off-site. Um, and we have glass from all over the world. It's not just from Indiana glass or from uh, Kerr or, or Ball Brothers, it's from all over the world. Among those 20,000 pieces, you'll find one-of-a-kind glass canes, cases full of depression and carnival glass, and a beautiful set of pink and gold plates that was never used. And keeping track of all those different things is no small task. We're trying to document everything we have in here, um, and that's been quite a chore. We're We've probably got uh, 7,600 pieces that we've got cataloged now. Uh, but yes, most of it's up here in the head. One of the things I always ask people when they come into the museum if they're a collector. And if they are and they see something that's not right, to let us know and we'll change it right away. It's almost impossible to, to be able to have knowledge of everything that's in here. So if you're a collector or just curious, the Glass Museum in Dunkirk is definitely worth checking out and uh, it's only cost two dollars to get in. It's uh, one of the biggest uh, surprises in the state of Indiana.